Nation. Welcome to another episode of The Love Shack. I'm your host, Big Al, the Doctor of Love. And I'm your co-host, Charmer Charles. Good evening, Albert. Good evening, Charles. Johnny, baby. And with us is NFW heavyweight what champion, this? Johnny Richards. What's all this? Digital hey, we're feeling good. You know what this this is? This is P. P for Pongo. Hey. Pongo, man, he's a good wrestler. He's a personal friend of mine. Well, that ain't nothing to be proud of. Oh, yeah, I like Pondo. You know Pondo is? What? He's a leader of the Juggalos, the dope addicts, the alcoholics. Bet the you wouldn't say that to his face. I'd say it to his face. He was here right now. Tell him right to his face. Hey, Pondo, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Johnny Richards, just so you know, Juggalos are family. And they'll all come down on your the, the, I'll tell Real funny, Charles. <laughs> Welcome to the Love Shack, Pondo. Dad is home tonight. <laughs> Welcome to the Love Shack. I tell you what. Uh, uh, I'm glad to be here. From what I understand, uh, Johnny Richards and Cliff. You know, Cliff was a pretty good choice. He's a rough guy, but Cliff and Johnny, they're gonna go against a madman and a dangerous one. So you know, you add it up and see what your calculator tells you. <laughs> it, it shows me and Cliff winning if you go by my calculations. It doesn't matter who I pinned. I won the match. It's all that matters. It's because you knocked it. Goes down. You, don't that. you don't recall that because I beat your brains out. That's why. <laughs> I, just, I think you're making stuff up. That's what I'm thinking. I just know my hand was raised. That's all that matters. Just, just like on the 13th, me and Cliff, our hands will be raised again. No matter if you have Doug Gilbert as your partner, or you got your stop sign, or you got your ball bat with the saw blade, or you got your stupid ass juggalos. Doesn't matter. Well, this is the way I see it. When we get to that soccer field, we're not going to play soccer, but I definitely want you to bring your ball back with me. Can you do that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring mine if you bring yours. Uh, mine will be there front and center, so don't worry about mine. Kind of creeps me out that you're worried about my balls, but don't worry about my balls, because they will be there. Oh, Lord have mercy. Bob and Rich, I, oh, mercy, I'm. Ooh, get out of Wayne, Eddie. He's beep, beep, got beep, balls beep. as big as Texas, by the way, so he's not <laughs> wait, scared. Wait, wait, wait. How, how do you know about his well, balls? Well, hell, have you ever seen him jumping off big, uh, what do you call them things, balconers? Balconers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy he's going to whip your ass. <laughs> You're probably going to get an ass with <laughs> Bad boy, bad boy. Uh, hey, Pondo, can you get one for me and Albert that night? Well, here's what I want Johnny Richards to do before he gets in the ring with me and Doug Gilbert. I want you to, I want you to go outside. I want you to throw yourself on the concrete three times real hard. Step in front of a train and get hit and all that. And just get ready for the beating that you're getting ready to get when you step in the ring with me and Davis Doug Gilbert. Whoa. You want to comment on that? Yeah, you want to run that mouth? <laughs> Pondo, I promise you, I got a little surprise for you that night and all will be good. I got a surprise for you, too. That ring is my home, and you and Cliff Compton are getting ready to trash pass, and you will be dealt with. Trust me on that. <laughs> Man spoke. He spoke. Now, I tell He's you, a I personal know, friend of mine. I know. Got, 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 got to go here a little bit, Charles. Is there anything you want to say or ask Pondo before we... Uh... Hey, Pondo. Yeah? On a scale from 1 to 10, huh? How are you going to rate this uh, ass whipping? <laughs> oh, Lord. On a scale from 1 to 10, how are you going to rate this butt whipping? Let's see. One, I'm going to kick him in the face. Two, I'm going to kick him in the chest. Three, I'm going to kick him in both arms. Four, I'm going to kick him in both legs. Five, I'm going to kick him in the ass. I mean, the numbers just keep going up and up and up. It's so hard to rate. Six, I'm going to Well, let me ask you I mean, something. Does Johnny Richards not know about my trash history, about my past? What I've done to the guys that I've hurt, the guys that I've scared to death, the guys that I've beat to death? And, and not only mine, but now he's got dangerous Doug Gilbert also to deal with? I'm thinking he's been off a lot more than what he can chew. Well, I'm going to tell you what, Johnny Richards. I'm going to tell you what, Johnny Richards. 
he said. That's right. We'll he see it like it is. Tells it like it is. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll see. I'll, let you, I'll let you feel good right now and go out on top because you won't okay. be going out at yeah. all on the. We got. We, we're getting ready to let Pondo go. He's I mean, is there anything you want to say before we let him go? And no, I don't like him. All right, Pondo. Before we let you go, is there anything you want to tell the NFW Nation about your match and what you're going to do to uh, Rich and uh, Cliff Compton? Sure do. When I throw you out there rail, Johnny Richards, and you see that sun coming at you, realize it's a stop. So if you keep going, you're not going to run into it. You never know. Hardcore kind of himself, Madman Pondo. That's him. Well, hey, Pondo. Pondo. Thank you for your time, Johnny Richards. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Too, Pondo. All right, Pondo. Thank you, Pondo. You take care, buddy. We, we, he really hung up on you. He got scared. No, he had to go. Oh, yeah, Lord. He got scared. <laughs> Whew, Lord. Oh, my call gosh. Call him back. Call him back. Oh, oh, I, 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 I don't know. I, we, Wayne's going to have his hands full already. Right. If he answers this, we're going to have about a two-minute love shack on a 30-minute show. <laughs> okay. All right. Have you heard it? For the mad, <laughs> hardcore hot guy himself, Madman Pondo, him and Dangerous Doug down. Gilbert taking on NFW heavyweight champion Johnny Richards. <laughs> <laughs> and Cliff Compton, and in a match that the Pondo said is going to be like a bloodbath. Pondo and, and Doug can run their mouth all they want, but the fact of the matter is this: is Pondo's got a good track record, but so do I. Yeah, but I tell you what, usually what him and Doug says, they, they pretty well back up everything right. they say. I mean, I've never left, you know. No, hey, I mean, just got your work cut out for you. <laughs> I hold a victory over Pondo already, and Doug Gilbert has never beat me. Have you ever fought him? Yeah. Yeah, a lot. It's the first yeah. time for everything. Not on the thirteenth. Right. We'll see. Uh, but besides, I want to say something. This is the first time I've ever seen Johnny Richards lost for words. I know. <laughs> I ever <laughs> well, like you, you left that on the bird <laughs> mouth. July thirteenth. <laughs> New Focus Racing presents red, white, black, and blue at the Metro Sports Center, fifty-eight twenty Metro Drive, here in Evansville, Indiana. Bell time seven thirty p.m. Saturday night, they you better get your tickets. And speaking of tickets, all the tickets, general admission is eight dollars. Ringside is ten dollars. Uh, children, adults, oh eight dollars. Yeah, children, uh, five to twelve, and senior citizens five dollars. Kids four and under, and active military are free. Again, that's NFW presents red, white, black, and blue here at the Metro Sports Center, fifty twenty Metro Drive, Evansville, oh, Indiana. Over, over there, yeah, over there. Yeah. And also, we want to thank our sponsors, Evansville Tire. Greeks Pizzeria, Jan's Fashion and Costumes, A Brighter Side Incorporated, Rave Entertainment, and TJ Scrap Dealer. So I tell you what, it's, it's going to be a wild match. And uh, before we go any further, Charles, you got something to say about a good friend of ours, right? I do. I want to. good friends. Well, you you know this guy. Oh, do I? I just want to say to my friend Papa Joe. We wish you luck, brother. We want you to get back and get well. I don't know if you know it or not, but Joe had his, I think it was his foot amputated Saturday or Friday or something like that. And uh, he's, uh, he's, he's recovering, and uh, I'm going to be talking to his nephew here this week sometime, so I'll find out more about that. But I just want to say, Gypsy, we love you. Johnny loves you. Al loves you. I do, Joe. The NFW yeah. loves you, and That's we right. want you back, man. You're the toughest guy I know. Dude. He's as almost he's as tough as not tougher than Pondo. He's Pondo, you know, him and Pondo both are fucking. Yeah, he's a lot tougher than Pondo. Well, I mean, he's tough. I'd be Gypsy, Gypsy Joe. Gypsy Joe's very tough. tough. Pondo's yeah, going to be well, nice get tough. Well. <laughs> get well, Joe. Get we well, love you. Get well, Joe. I hope to see I you got soon. one more beating for you, Joe. But uh, again, oh, also, so. you know, Mama Rich posted all, all the matches on Facebook. They see about have the NFW Nation comments on them, and we've got them on here. So uh, well, I go through them as Mama Rich posted them, and. Uh, We'll get the NFA Nation comments, and of course, we'll get uh, Rich and Charles' comments also. Uh, and the first one is SOL Scotty Wolf, Big Bull Lee, Anthony Blaze battled out with the coalition's Dyron Flynn, Chad Stallings, and Daniel Eads in a six man tag match. That is going to be something else. And I, I don't, hope, you know. I hope, in all actuality, I don't like SOL, and I don't like the coalition. <clears throat> But I really hope that Daniel Eads gets his ass with that match. Just saying. 
Him and Chad Stallings. I like Chad. He's a good guy. Well, I imagine so. He had him attack me. He's a nice fellow. You know, August, you know, like I said, you know, August, August. But like Sam top, Sammy also said the coalition because he thinks the coalition going to win because they're younger, faster. But I, I tell you what, I, I kind of disagree with that because I think SOL or a lot, to me, SOL is stronger. I don't want to see the camera guy. A lot more experienced. Then coalition, I, I just I just disagree with Sammy on that one. I, I don't think I think the coalition's going to be in for a rude awakening right there. You know, I've I've been in the ring with all those guys and uh, all six of them actually, but I had, SOL is pretty tough. Not as tough as me, but they're pretty tough. <laughs> I'm pretty tough. I used to be. You're pretty tough. Okay. Hey, Albert, ain't I tough? Oh, you're <laughs> tough. You're tough. You're tough on me whenever you make me train. Yes. <laughs> okay, a member of the original Damage Incorporated, Viper, returns to Evansville to take on NFW No Limit Champion Penny Bray for his title. I think and of that's course, gonna we have Michael Willard. He's a Benny Bray fan. Heather Wilson is a Benny, Benny Bray fan. I am. You're a Benny Bray fan? Yeah. yeah I'm I'll tell you what, fan. I know Viper. I know Chloe. He, he's a veteran. Uh, him and Damage Incorporated, like I said, one of the toughest tag teams in the tri state area when they, when they were together. And, uh, you know, what I've seen, he, he's pretty well puffed up, too, and stuff, so I'm ready to go. And I tell you what, the Benny Bray's, I think, is taking a little bit lightly. I think Benny's going to beat him. It's gonna be, it's, it, regardless of who we, it's going to be a tough match. It's going to be a, a very tough match. Oh, I said puffed up like a puff head. Buff, puff, puff. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Albert, I think you got something in my mouth, dude. Oh, <laughs> some of them Pondo's got it. He got, got us going, already, didn't already. he? What you okay. got in there? Is that popcorn? The self-proclaimed greatest woman wrestler in NFW history, Chloe versus Miss Hardy for the NFW women's title. I'm going to go on record and say I truly believe that Chloe is the greatest woman wrestler ever in NFW history. Do you know what Chloe calls Miss Hardy? What's that? Miss Hardy. Miss Hardy. <laughs> That's what she said. Miss Hardy, huh? Hardly. Hardly. Yeah, she said Miss Hardy. Uh, she said she can hardly I, wrestle. Hardly. Oh. She said she can hardly walk. She's oh, so old. We'll see. She I'm says true. she can hardly get around. If it wasn't for them little wall cart, our carts at Walmart, she couldn't go get her hair <laughs> done. That's what Coy said. I'd say I'm not going to see Well, Coy told me that Coy told me that she used more dye than Albert does. I, don't, I didn't say it. Well, you would let me talk. It, no, it's I'm all natural. About, Thank you. No. Oh no, yeah. Albert uses a lot of salt on his potatoes and stuff. And she said that, oh, that Miss Harley used a whole no, lot of that. hair dye. No, potatoes. <laughs> yeah. She also said that uh, uh, Miss Harley was a, uh, can I say this? Yeah. She said she was uh, 50 pounds of potatoes in a 20 pound sack. That means <laughs> she's round. Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just telling you. <laughs> Boy, tell me. Winner that will be the NFW right. Hey, I'm talking champion. to you, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, things are getting hot, hot, hot. Chloe would never lie. So everything Boy, she says, this is the truth. Uh, well, we'll find out come uh, July 13th. She also says her boyfriend looks like a white down. I'm thinking back up everything they say. I mean, Oh, Kurt Patrick? Yeah, mullet yeah, man. Mullet on a stick. Oh, Lord have mercy. Straight up, mullet on a stick. Okay, I'm not sure. He looks look kind of like Joe Dirt. <laughs> he does. He really. does look like okay. Joe Dirt. Okay. It's good. Joe Dirt's going to be in action that night, too. Who? Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt's going to be in action. Yeah. Kurt Patrick. Oh, no, Lord have mercy. Joe Dirt. That was a good movie, though. It wasn't yeah. too bad. Yeah, it's good. I, I wonder if Kurt Patrick's okay. left. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. If I was <laughs> in NWA's probably. world heavyweight champion, the Iron Man Rob Conway Another versus Vic the Bruiser I'm Lewis in a number one contenders match for the world title. That means the winner will face me. That's right. I can beat both of them. Huh? I can beat both of them. I just think. Anybody that, can beat anybody on a given night. Well, no one can beat me. I'm unbeatable. But I say, I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm rooting for Rob Conway in this match. And the reason I'm rooting for Rob Conway is if Rob Conway has the guts and he beats Victor Bruiser, I think we should make it title for title. Just like well, that. that's between, you know. That's up to the NWA. Yeah, that's well, not, I'm sure they're scared. Not up to us. I can't they don't want Johnny Rich as a title that don't belong to us. But you know uh, why? Because then they draw. I'm sure, I'm sure Rob will have a comment on that, on, uh, I'm sure, coming uh, July 13th. Yeah. I talked to him today, by the way. He's a friend of mine. Just like he's a friend of yours. He's a friend of ours. There's nothing to be proud of either. Iron Man does the Conway. And of course, the comment, Mike Roman, our buddy Mike Roman, which I hope I'm going to try to get him here next week. Yeah, Mike's our friend too. Yeah. This was a slobber knocker, both experienced, and Vic is one bad dude who doesn't care who who doesn't care who he is or who he takes out. And Master could go either way. And it's true. I mean, 
He don't care. Vic don't care who he faces. It's not he can hurt somebody. Yeah, I, I fought both those guys, and both of them was pretty pissed off at me when I fought them. And uh, <coughs> when it, this big of stakes on the line where the winner's going to face me for the belt, they, there's nothing going to stop either one of them. <laughs> it's going to be great. Okay, and a fans lumberjack match, strap match, Flash Flanagan versus JP Lightning. Another friend of mine, Flash Flanagan. Comment was they had a great match last I'm time. JP forward. decided to take the cheap way out. I'm pulling for Flash. I, I think Flash is going to have his number this time. Where is Scarlet going to be? That's uh, I tie really, SF every week. You really want to know where Scarlet's going to be? Yes. She's going to be on the corner. Oh, she's going to get what? Women else in the corner? Well, I don't know. I'm, 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 no, she's going to be the on the corner. Yeah, the corner of the ring. Yeah, you can say that. Are you talking about the corner of the ring? Yes, the corner of the ring. All right. But Linda Nelson is going to be out there with a belt. Well, she'll probably be on the corner with her. Charles, he's talking about the street corner of the ring. Shame on you. <laughs> I would never mean that. Al, where is your mind? In the gutter? I can read your mind right now by the way your eyes are going like that, you know. I cannot believe you would say something about that. About that I poor, wouldn't. That poor, innocent, saint of a woman, Scarlet Rose. <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. You're as bad as Coley saying that oh, Lord, every that time Miss Harley wears a red, white, and blue dress, they stick letters. Okay, down. like I said, we got. They should. <laughs> she said they make them like a pack of hot dogs. And current <laughs> ROH is uh, oh, Cliff that's Compton. That's yeah. Teams oh, up with world champion Johnny Richards to face the team of Daniel Stubb Gilbert and right. Madman Pondo. And you heard Pondo. He gave you ten good reasons why he's going to whoop your... I'm not going to say it, but we're in. gave six. Oh, he's six, but he, he pretty well... Never mind. He's gassed up. He's ready to go. That's right. <laughs> You're interrupting. I, I, I hope he brings a stop sign and he brings a stupid little saw blade base ball bat thing. And I hope Doug Gilbert brings his little stupid ass ball bat because I want to beat the shit out of both of them. Oh, I know. Just, they it, got him. It's going to take Wayne all night to edit this. And if he does, we're not going to have no, nothing else said on the I know day. Doug Gilbert, too. Known him for a long time. I beat Doug Gilbert. I've managed him before. I teamed up with him. And then I dropped him because he sucks. Okay. Him and his 32 ounce ball, no, 36 ounce ball bat. Do you remember, do you remember when him and, and Tommy Rich tried to hide from me and Flash Flanagan? <clears throat> I do. I oh, had a high well, they I, I thought they were out building a ring. They came out and they begged us time to beat them up, and then we beat them up anyway. Shh. No, I think they wanting their money. That's why. <laughs> they get paid too much as it is. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. You're picking on them like Chloe picks on Miss Harley. She told me she had more chins than a Chinese phone book. All right, <laughs> return grudge match. Sebastian Harris. Uh, I think those are low, almost as low of a form as the jugglers. Can we go on to Love Shack, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm just... Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Well, has got me upset. <laughs> Return well, grudge match. All that stuff she's been saying. She's a sweet woman. Are you done? Okay. Now you got my dog whining. Sebastian Harris is wanting a rematch with uh, Just John. He got it. So it's a return grudge match. Sebastian versus Just John. And I, I, I just got a feeling Sebastian going to lose two in a row. I don't think so. You know, let me give you a little bit of something you may not have known. <clears throat> Go ahead. When Just John went for that band Terminator thing, yeah. he broke his hand. So his hand's not healed yet. Sebastian knows his hand's not healed yet. So basically he's going in one-handed, one-armed. Is he going to have a cast on? He should have a face. But I think Sebastian's going to My win. dog don't like you. I don't like your dog. I can tell. <laughs> or your wife. Or your kid. Or you. Well, I know that. Do you like Miss Harley? No. I don't like her either. Okay. Or her, or her little mom. Also, Kirk Patrick. there's little. been one added. The River City Saints, the NFW Tag Team Champions, will take on a wild card team. Uh-oh. You won't know who the wild card team is until the 13th. She's on the bell Jimmy ring. Get in the ring. Jimmy's chicken. What's that? He said it could be you and Jimmy. It's like, Jimmy won't get in the ring. He's chicken. Jimmy oh, Cameron is not chicken. chicken. He is chicken. He might be a little goosey. But <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Also, <clears throat> I mean, like I said, I mean, if if that nation you want to comment on who you think could be the wild card team, go ahead and post it, you know. But it no could be you say. and I, Albert. You never know. <laughs> it could be. Hey, I'm undefeated. Ain't no. Because would, I would kind of like to see that. Much. What's that? Me and Charles? Yeah, Charles against... Uh, the NFW Odd yeah. Couple versus River City Saints? Yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> really? Oh, Lord. Do you ever hear Tom Keith? <clears throat> yeah. you hear that song? Yeah, you remember, I remember he was... Uh, hey, as good as I once was, but good once as I was. That's me and Albert. Okay. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be the roughest two seconds I ever had. <laughs> Also, we got Maybe. we got a lot of other superstars coming. Also, Bobo Brazil Jr. will be there. Bobo, Team Bolt will be there. Yeah, 
this person. Ref Ryder Roy! Roddy Red. Why are you gonna be so mean about him? He can't help he's got a stuttering problem, he's ugly. <laughs> oh Lord. The Canadian kid, Chris Norte. He's ugly too. Kirk Patrick. Joe Dirt. Mullet man. <laughs> <laughs> and many more. Like I said, NFT presents red, white, black, and blue at the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive here at Evans, Indiana. Tickets are ringside are ten dollars. General admissions eight dollars. Children's five dollars. and twelve. Five to twelve. Senior oh, citizens five dollars. Kids four and under. That military free. It's gonna be a great night. Great matches. Great merchandise. And hopefully, oh yeah, the the uh, Love Shack uh, contest is going on. And we've got a couple of entries, and so far it's it's pretty close. Yeah, but, one uh, guy did a pretty good job. It was like outhouse. It's pretty good. <laughs> I knew you was gonna say something like that. Well, but. It, it, it continued till the 13th, and we'll announce that, and then by August, hopefully, we'll have a, a banner. I hope you don't. Shirts. I hope your faces ain't on it. Have what? I hope your faces are not on it. What's wrong with their faces? <coughs> not very attractive on That's there. That's me. You look like two, two, that. look like two lovers. We love everybody. Uh, that's right. Like you are two lovers. Like, hey, you we, love the fans. we love the fans. Okay. She, she, that's, wait a minute. Chloe told me she's won this match against Miss Harley. Do I? I know the secret she's going to have. She's going to win it. How's that? She got four, not one, two, three, but four tickets to Golden Corral. Four what? Buffet tickets. Tickets. She oh. said she'll go there and she'll never show up. Maybe T-Bone do not get a hold of that. I was getting ready to make well, comments about that. Well, they might go out that night. You never know. No, that's true. <laughs> T-Bone gets Okay. Like I said, NFT presents red, white, black, and blue at the Metro Sports Center. The Pondo's going to be black and blue when I'm done with them. Oh, uh, you got... The NWA World Champion uh, Rob Conway in a number one contenders match with Victor Bruce Lewis. We got whew, Johnny Richards, the NFW Heavyweight Champion, and Cliff Compton going up against Madman Pondo. There will be blood. And Dangerous Doug Gilbert. I, I'm pretty sure there will be. There will be blood. There, uh, yeah. There will, I'm, I'm, Pondo will bleed all over the Metro Sports You got re Vipers making his return to Evansville in his NFW debut. I, I mean, you know, can't wait to see Viper in action. You got Flash Flanagan wanting revenge against J.P. Lightning. You got Sebastian wanting revenge against Jess John. You got the Coalition against SOL. I mean, the list goes on. You got other superstars going to be there. It's going to be a great night. And I'll tell you what, Charles, I mean, I don't... I got, got a lot of friends. We got a lot of friends. Lot Hondo, of friends. Rob. Hondo, Rob, uh, Viper, Flash Flanagan, uh, Teddy Bear. Bobo. Bobo. It's Teddy Bear. It's Teddy Bear. <laughs> Dog? Yeah. Why do you like the dog? I don't it's know. cross-eyed. I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's about it. I don't know if you, do you have anything. <laughs> Leave my dog go. It's cross-eyed. Do you, do you have anything you want to say before we eat? Charles spreads the love? I really think, truthfully and honestly, I will go on record and say that you should quit spreading the love because of enough ugly people in Evansville, Indiana. And when you spread love, not only are you spreading the ugliness, you're spreading STDs like herpes and gonorrhea and syphilis and all that stuff. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Miss Harley probably has Everybody needs love. Oh, Lord, you, I didn't say that. No, I didn't say it either. I, I'm, I, I, yeah, that's probably Floyd told me that right uh, Miss Harley you was... Lord, uh, have mercy. Ooh. She I got was uh, responsible for a lot of murders. Really? Yeah. She said All she right. walked down to the beach and she wore a bikini and everybody died. Okay. Charles, is anything you want to say before? I can see that. Is it? Are you done? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just getting started. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Just I, I'm dead. This has been a said. weird night. I don't oh, know what's happened. Rowdy Red is calling your phone, Al. Yeah, I know, because it's got stutter. D -d 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 it's stuttering. Yeah, I know. I don't know I what know. happened tonight. Wait a minute. Wait okay. A wait, 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 wait. Wait, we got a special announcement. Hey, Rowdy Red. What's up? Hey, you're on the Love Shack right hey, now. Hey, Rowdy Red. I'm on the Love Shack. You're yeah, on the Love baby. Shack. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but, uh... <coughs> You actually just called in, we're taping the Love Shack, and we just had a jerk Pondo on here. No! No, you can't, Red! You can't call back! <laughs> Miss Harley might try to call in on the <laughs> Okay. Uh, 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 Roddy Red on the Love Shack. Here we go. Pondo See, and Roddy Red. Do you know Miss Harley? Uh, I don't you have her number. Like well, I said, yeah. July 13th, it all happens. Red, white, black, and blue is going to live true. There's going to be a lot of red, white, black, and blue. And I mean, know and Doug's going to be black of, and blue. And I hope we got paramedics on site. I hope so them. too. But I tell you, I'm, I'm done. July 13th, it, 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 it all happens. For, you know, NF, NF3 presents red, white, black, and blue. Bell time, 7.30 p.m. Saturday night, Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro <laughs> Drive, here in Indiana. We're going to be there. Great merchandise, great matches, refreshments. 
great superstars. You know what she should get out? She should get some Chloe t-shirts. Get some what? Chloe t-shirts. Chloe t-shirts. Yeah, they yeah. make some money. You want them? We can get them made. You should make them. Lazy? I don't make them. I order them. Well, you should order them. Lazy. Okay. All right, Charles. Yes, sir. I'm done. Hey, I'm gonna spread the love. I do. I don't know what happened tonight, man. Johnny said if I do that, I'm gonna make ugly people on every. You are. You don't want ugly people, and then you're gonna be spread. You know, SDs. I just moved here, and I gotta tell you, there are some, some ugly people. Well, I don't know that ugly. I mean, but there's ugly. some kind of weird ones. Look at some of our fans. There's some ugly bitches out there. Ooh. Just remember this, NFW Nation. Don't fight amongst yourself. Go ahead. Fight with me and Alfred. All you gotta do is spread and Don't spread it. Don't spread it. Yeah, people look like Jimmy when you spread it. Right? Yeah, people look like Kirkpatrick, mother baby. Kirkpatrick, uh, Miss Honey. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Cross-eyed dog. Okay. <laughs>